just got in, waiting to be seen. All right, y'all, I just finished, hold on. I just finished my acupuncture appointments, my first one. I'm going back next week and then the following, um, well, I'm going back next week, I take a break for a week and then I'll go back um, the week after that. So yeah. It was not as painful as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like, they put it in really deep, but it's very like, you know, surface level. Um, at least there were some points like in my ear where the pain was way more severe than the others. Like it was just like a dull ache that I felt more, but yeah, I'm like, I, I feel like I noticed a difference a little bit, but um, I'm mainly going for like, uh, I mean there's many people, many reasons why people go to acupuncture, but I'm going for circulation. Yeah, I just want to improve my circulation um, and like digestion and other things too, so yeah. Never thought I'd be doing acupuncture, but here I am. I felt very adult doing it too. <laughs> Y'all, the morning that I've had, <laughs> I was on like a two hour call. I'm willing to eat this cold. My gosh. Give me a second. It tastes good cold. <clears throat> rundown of my morning started tried to fix an issue realized that I was uh, using an automation in a script where the client was not actually automating um, a part of their process and so I had to like redo the entire thing and I just needed a lot of help <laughs> to do it so I was like planning this day to look very specific, but it did not turn out the way that I thought. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Skip this intro. Yeah, the day just like did not turn out the way that I had initially planned. I was like, I'll work on this for an hour. This should hopefully get solved. Took almost three hours. And then, yeah, I'm taking this time to have a lunch. So I have a meeting for an hour, which is most likely not going to take an hour, but it'll be my last meeting of the day. And then I can get a lot of work done this afternoon. But I was hoping this morning to be very productive for a different client, and I was not. So I'm a little frustrated. But that's okay but 
We live and we learn, you know? We live and we learn. Y'all, my tire popped as I was coming here. I'm gonna tell you the story later, but I'm at dinner with my friend saying it's been an eventful day, to say the least. Vlogging girl. What? Oh yeah, I forgot. If you don't want to be in the vlog, that's okay. I can be in it. I just finished taking my shower in the other shower. <clears throat> well? Do you want me to start with like my work drama or the drama that I had after work? Well, I don't know where you want to start. Wherever you want to start, Jasmine. Well, I have a flat tire. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, Are you, you didn't check the tires or what? No, girl. It popped because I was oh going yeah okay let me tell you the story um lunch break early yeah I'm just gonna see yeah I'm gonna take my lunch break early I'm gonna see if I can get it done um hopefully I don't need an appointment but we'll see because I'm just like hey I need I need this fix and hopefully they have a car like a, a tire that fits my tire unless they can you repair my tire you know you have rental in your in your in your in your extended warranty too. I did not know that. You need to look at it. Oh, I just hate dealing with cars, that. Grandma. No, I'm. This is why we should live together because if I have car issues, you can just deal with it for me. Because <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not there to help you. So I just gave the rundown to my grandma. My nose is extremely itchy. But thank God saying was there. What I'm about to explain to you <laughs> is a miracle. Um, so I'm going to meet saying for dinner. We're hanging out, right? And <laughs> we're not hanging out at this point. She's like at ARC shopping and we're gonna, I'm gonna like park or whatever. I go down this alley cause I miss my exit and the rain guard under my car like kind of fell a little bit um and i've been like it's fallen before and i've gotten it like fixed um but it keeps falling and i don't know the screws i guess keep coming out um with the make and model of my car i don't know anyways so that's like kind of like dragging so i need to go get that fixed but i was like i should be fine to like drive to get dinner with saying and then um i go down this alley because i missed my exit and then I'm thinking this loud sound happens in my car or like underneath my car. And I'm thinking, oh, it must be the rain guard. It like probably fell off, which is weird because one side is solidly on there. The other side is not. And I'm like, oh, I really hope it didn't pop my tire. I don't know what it was, but I like went over something and that popped my back left tire and it was like flat within two minutes it was insane and it was like this huge like metal wire thing like huge puncture in my t it was crazy these men like five six men come out they, they see like that like hey speaking spanish and like i am spanish and my family speaks spanish but i am no longer fluent i am trying to get fluent and I felt like it would have been so nice to be able to speak Spanish at this moment because then we would have understood each other. Um, but at last, like we spoke to each other, not in the same language, but we understood what we were both saying. Like, I'm sure they understood English. I could pick up some things in Spanish and also context clues like was helpful. Um, but they like went under fixed the little rain guard with like whatever material that they had on hand to like keep it up and then saying like comes i call her and i was like hey can you just like stand out here with me because i'm like by myself with all these five men or whatever just want to be like safe and they she's like oh do you have a spare tire and i'm like i don't think i have one of those she's like no everybody has one of those i get really stressed out with cars so like 
when I'm dealing with the car situation, I get very stressed out and I don't think logically. So I know that every car has a spare tire, but in my moment of need, I didn't know that. And that's okay. That's okay. But so we're like going into the trunk, getting the spare tire, take out the stuff. Glad that my car had all the stuff to do that. I think every car probably has that, but who knows? My car had all the things needed to like lift the car up a little bit so you can put the spare tire on and then take off the bolts and all that stuff. Then this man who like comes walking into the eye, into the alley, um, just takes the wrench from the other guy because he like, I guess was finished. He was like trying to adjust the thing to like prop the car up. He just takes the wrench part of it and starts taking off the nuts and bolts off my tire um, and then gives it back to the guy. The guy starts propping my car up. All this takes place, basically they put the spare tire on. They tell me, which I fully understood at this point what they were saying. So I was like, oh yeah, I recognize all these words that you're saying to me. They're like, you need to fix this tomorrow. And um, this is a temporary fix. This is not like a permanent thing. And I was like, I get it. I'm gonna fix it tomorrow. Is that my gonna? So I go back down the alley, which was fine at that point, um, park, which was like less than 30 seconds. And then I go into Dollar General, Sang and I pick out like five drinks because there's like a gang of these people. And then we go walk back. So a span of like less than five minutes and they are gone. And I'm over here like, ¿Dónde están los hombres? Like, I have nowhere, no idea where these men are. Like they're gone, like gone, gone. It was insane. It was insane. Um, couldn't find them. They were nowhere to be seen. Like, and Sang and I were just flabbergasted. And she was like, I should look at the footage. It'd be crazy if like in the footage that we just took that they weren't there. And I was like, Sang, don't do this to me. <laughs> Literal angels, like, it was crazy. It, it, it didn't take five minutes. It was like less than five minutes. And they were fully gone, like disappeared as though they had never been there. And like, and they were so nice, so kind. And I was like, oh, I should probably get drinks for them or whatever. And like, they were just hanging out, chilling. They probably like went into a different car and like left. I It was like, they didn't have to do that. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. They were so kind and like so lovely to just help me in my time and I was literally like I don't know what to do and there was like a car shop but I was like does this place fix tires and they're like no I also don't think they worked there so yeah it was it was crazy it was absolutely crazy my nose is so itchy um yeah and especially after the day that I've had with that one client like my I came into today having a plan of like, I'm gonna work on these specific things to prepare for this meeting. And then later today, I'm gonna like get prepared for my meetings tomorrow. That all went out the window. Like truly that all went out the window. Um, and because I had to deal with like an urgent request because it's like my, client that everything is urgent and um, they're my overseas client and it's just yeah yeah it was just hard I had a very like frustrating day and I'm gonna like talk to my boss about it but yeah I just like time management can be like really hard when you like have a plan of what you're gonna do and then everything gets derailed and like certain scripts were just uh, it was just yeah yeah it was just a it was a, a hard work day for me and very frustrating I don't know I feel like I had a plan of like what this week would look like so I'm like oh I'm, you know my birthday's this week and I'm gonna like try to do things to kind of set myself up so that like when the day comes I'm not working that day I'm taking the day off at the end of the week and yeah now I feel like I have to work um which is kind of frustrating because tomorrow like I need to go in the morning because I have meetings in the afternoon I need to go get my tire fixed like I can't 
Like I was going to go to the gym in the morning. Obviously I can't do that now. I need to like limit how much I am on this spare tire because it's not like it truly is not a permanent fix. So I'm going to set up an appointment because um, I bought my tires from Costco. So hopefully they can either fix the puncture or I can get a new tire. My entire nose bridge is just so itchy. It's like insane. Absolutely. Insane. So yeah, that was uh, my day. My day was just like a hectic work day because I just ran into a lot of like scripting errors and got like the urgent request and like there's nothing wrong with it being urgent it just like i had a plan for my day and i felt like it was just something that came out of left field and it was just hard for me to manage and i had the capacity to do something like i had a capacity of like i'm gonna do this specific thing and then was not able to like execute my plan and i like when i'm very organized i like to stay in that organized state and when that derails I get very frustrated. So it's like growing opportunity for me, for sure. But um, I was gonna work when I got back, but it's about to be nine o'clock. So I'm gonna just like wash up and watch another episode of My 19th Life. The season has been out, but like, I've just been taking my time watching some shows, you know? Try not to like binge watch everything at once. Trying to read more. I should read tonight, but I'm just, it's been a hard day. You gotta treat yourself when you can. So it's been a hard day, but it's been a great day at the same time. Like a wonderful miracle happened with my car. Like those people were such a blessing to me and I'm so thankful and I'm so glad Sang was with me. So I wasn't by myself because it, I would have been way more frustrated by myself. I would have been like, I would have kept it together with them, like with the people that were helping me. But like afterwards, it would have been just like, I would have been in a very negative head headspace and just being with her put me in a very positive headspace, which was nice. So thanks saying I'm going to turn off my computer because I literally can't deal with this anymore. Good morning, y'all. I just woke up a few minutes ago. I scheduled, it's a little bit too right, I scheduled a appointment for 3.30 today to go get my tire repaired. So currently on the spare, hopefully I'm able to get it fixed today. Um, <laughs> I still have the tire that popped. I have the thing that popped it. So we'll see. But yeah, that was like a very crazy experience yesterday. But I'm very thankful. Like, wow, literal angels. Praise God. I was able to like come home safely. I wasn't by myself. And yeah overall like it was a good experience it was just kind of crazy <laughs> um to say the least so we i was supposed to have like a co-working day um my company like rented out a co-working space and like i was gonna go but because of that i'm not gonna like take an uber or a lyft or whatever to go um i'm just gonna stay home <laughs> and get work done. I have a few meetings right before my uh, appointment for my car. And I'm just gonna like take care of that, but I'm just like still in awe, like praise God that that worked out. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just in awe. I'm very glad that I got home safely and that I still was able to like get home and everything worked out. Wow, who knew? Who knew this is how this week would go? But anyways, um, I'm going to get ready for the day. I'm gonna like wash my face, put sunscreen on because my skin is unprotected right now. So I need to wear sunscreen because I have vitamin C on my skin. 
So, gotta wash my face, put that sunscreen on. Even though I'm inside, I gotta wear the sunscreen. Also on the way home, I knew I lived near this park, but like just seeing everybody outside, I was like, you know what? When I like finish my work day, I should go and walk or like read at that park. Cause it looked so nice and just like really chill. And it's a decent sized park. So your girl's trying to get outside more. That's why she's trying to camp more. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get ready for this day. Um, I don't really have any like plans for the rest of the day besides getting my car fixed. Um, doing my meetings and just like building. So I'm just gonna build. Also, the final fix for the, the client yesterday worked. Um, it's in the release. Oh, I just got really frustrated. I'm also hormonal. I'm like starting my period probably tomorrow. So I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense why I've been like more frustrated than normal. Cause I, us I can usually like handle a lot, but like yesterday I was done. Like I was fully done. Um, and it wasn't even like that big of a deal. It was just like, emotionally, I was just over it. And then I looked at my app and I was like, oh, I'm starting my period in a few days. It's like, I always forget. I'm like, why am I so emotional? And then I think, oh yeah, I'm about to start. And it's like internal, it's not really external. Like I don't like get like itchy with people. I just, you know. That stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'll probably check in with y'all tomorrow, honestly, because I'm just gonna be working from my computer right there. And no, I still haven't gotten rid of those boxes. I need to. I need to go on Facebook Marketplace or something. Yeah, I need to, I need to get rid of them. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. So, I'm on my way to get my tire repaired at Costco. And I just like had a moment of, I don't know what you would call it, but essentially, I guess like gratitude or thankfulness. Like my birthday is at the end of this week and I had certain expectations of like, at least with weight loss, of like, oh, I'm gonna achieve these certain goals or, you know. And I've lost some weight, I haven't like met my goal, but I had this moment of looking in the mirror when, before I went out and I was like, oh, I really like the way that I look in these jeans. Like, I like the way that I fit in these jeans, they're fitting a lot better. <laughs> they're not as tight, which is great. Um, and also just, I feel a lot calmer with the tire situation today than I did yesterday. And yeah, just like learning to have like grace for myself and un like just better manage expectations from myself personally. I think I just put so much pressure for me to achieve or do certain things and I get disappointed easily and quickly when I don't meet those expectations that I put on myself and I'm just like life happens and I understand life happens and I still will put the expectation of like it doesn't even matter if life is lifing for you you need to meet these goals and it's like no I just need to be gentle with myself and have more grace and know that like things are gonna work out. Like honestly, dealing with car stuff really does stress me out, but I would say like having saying there was very helpful, but also like knowing that now I'm in such a better financial place to be able to handle things like these, like, like this is just so incredible. I feel like if I had just graduated college and I was dealing with something like this, it would have really stressed me out because in college I had a ton of car problems, like a ton, and I didn't have money to fix it. And so I was in a really great position 
where my grandma would allow me to borrow money from her and pay her back. Um, but now, like, I don't have to borrow money at all. Like, I can just, like, I have an emergency fund where I can save and, like, get things done for this car because I've saved for a very long time and I've experienced, like, a lot of financial hardship when I was first out of college just because I wasn't making the type of money that I am making now. And I'm not saying that to be like, oh, I'm rich or anything. I'm definitely not. But like, I, like when I started out, like I was making next to nothing. And also rent was definitely way more affordable, but like I was so frugal. And like saving any amount of money was like good, but if I had to like pay $300 for something with my car, it would set me back a lot. Like it took me a long time to save $3,000 to buy a car when I was working. Okay, that was an interesting, <laughs> I just witnessed a very, essentially like there's a turning lane and there's like this USPS truck in it and then next to the turning lane there's just like a lane that goes straight this car went into that turning lane we're at a red light just went in front of this person at a turning lane we're all stopped I'm just like wow bold choice and also in front of a USPS like truck that was crazy um and like not a lot of room anyways uh yeah I feel like just right now like I'm in such a better space to be able to handle those certain situations like financially but still like emotionally there's still stress but overall thinking back on it I'm like this is not that bad like I can go to Costco I can get my tire repaired um, if they're not able to do it like I can at least come back home until they have a tire uh, that is in stock to get repaired um and it will work out like it'll work out my grandma was like you know you have like rental like you can get rental you can get your car towed there like that's covered with your extended warranty and I was like oh yeah oh yeah and so just like having people in my community to kind of like remind me and help me calm down when I'm in like slightly stressful situations is so good but it also helped remind me this morning and today of just like you just need to manage your expectations of yourself and have more grace for yourself and be gentle and like if you don't meet goals like it's not the end of the world and like you've made progress and not to like beat yourself up for it but also like I really just need to like be manage my expectations and be gentle with myself that's like key so anyways, I am uh, headed to Costco right now to get my tire repaired. Probably gonna shop if they're able to fix it or if they're like, hey, we need to actually order your tire um, type of thing. We'll kind of just like go from there. But yeah, it should be like a pretty easy, straightforward process. Y'all, my tire's fixed. This is why I love Costco. Um, I went into Costco. I dropped my car off. They're like, yeah, we'll see in about an hour, but your your car's like tires that you currently have on it are no longer made, which makes sense because I like got new tires back in like 2020. Like my tires are no longer sold. So they were like, yeah, just give us an hour. We'll see if we'll be able to fix it or you know do something else we just want to make sure that we're not putting you in a spare for too long but yeah they fixed it didn't have to pay a dime like because when you buy costco tires you have a 60 month warranty with your tires and obviously there's like some caveats with that but like hey in this case i ran over something i was driving and it punctured my tire and completely free for me to get it repaired and also, when you buy tires from Costco, you get free tire rotations. So I make sure to go in every time and get my tires rotated.
every time it's due. Like I, it's like getting an oil change. So that is all done and dusted. I am going to go and stop at Whole Foods and treat myself to a dessert. I typically don't buy ice cream anymore, which is a really good thing for me, but I'm just going to treat myself to something sweet because this is very exciting. I was so, so thankful that I was able to get this like fixed and resolved and not have to pay anything. Um, got a few things from Costco, like got some food as well as like my grandma a nice little squirt and I got myself a bucket hat um because the bucket hat that I got from Sierra Trading Post is great it's really nice but it's a little tight on my head and this one just fits a lot better on my head which is great um so I'm gonna give the one that's a little tight on my head to my grandma because she has a way her head is way smaller than mine so she'll be able to fit into it and I will keep this bucket hat for myself because I really should be wearing hats outside, especially when it's like hot. You don't want your scalp to be burned, but yeah, just trying to protect myself from the sun as much as possible. But I'm just so beyond thankful and like praising God that my tires are fixed. I'm so excited. So oh, praise God. Lord, you are so good to me. So good to you, girl. So good to you, girl. Oof. Wow, that that really worked out. That really worked out. 